All right, so in yesterday's video, we talked about Zizzy. We talked about the insane ending of chapter three and if Zizzy could possibly survive. And well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the opposite end of the spectrum here. We're gonna be talking about Tigri, who is the member of TSP that is chasing us throughout the TSP base, throughout the refinery. What's gonna be going on with him and how he, I guess, ties into the story. Now, as you guys probably know by now, there are a lot of secrets on this map. In fact, there are over nine notes on this map. There's normally four, but on this one, there's literally nine main notes and literally I think like three more just normal just funny notes around the map I said literally a lot there I, I'm, I'm sorry anyway I wanted to make this video on Tigri because I think he's a very important character going forward he's gonna be a big character in the story and he actually has a pretty sad backstory and I actually do mean it also as well I do want to give a shout out to these guys here they won yesterday's Roblox code so if you would like to win some Roblox codes I'm gonna do it again today just be subscribed to the channel and leave a way for me to contact you down down below Twitter Facebook it well not not Facebook discord Twitter Roblox you, you get the idea anyway let's go ahead let's hop into this Tigri and the notes so first off the first secret inside of the map that you'll probably notice is this sign here now this sign shows not only where this refinery is but it also gives I I, I guess some some backstory on what's going on with TSP so if this sign is any indication it would appear that TSP actually took this place over once the apocalypse started no idea what happened to the people that were already there maybe they left or maybe tsp i don't know like took them out or something took them you know kidnapped them no idea but you can clearly see that this says either settlement five or settlement six it's actually kind of weird because it kind of looks like a five but if you look at it from another angle it kind of looks like a six pretty sure it's settlement six though either way tsp willow wolf they have full control of this facility and inside of this facility there are a lot of notes that provide some pretty interesting backstory on some characters as well as tigre let's get into it so our first note here is actually on a wooden table i forget which one but look on one of the wooden tables and you'll see it and it says when we are near we need to make the enemy believe we are far away when far away we need to convince them we are near now i'm not exactly sure who wrote this note it sounds like something willow would make and obviously they are trying to make everyone believe that tsp is a giant threat you know they're super scary don't mess with them or else something bad's gonna happen pretty self-explanatory note the next note is outside in the bushes and it says this place is run by maniacs we need to leave before they find out we know too much if you're reading this stay away from here and and I'm guessing this may be some ex-members of TSP, or maybe this is some random survivors that wandered upon this place. Anyway, whoever it is, it, they, it would appear that they found out that these guys are a little bit crazy. You know, they kidnapped people and they got away and left. So, I mean, we kind of already knew this, but there's that note. Now, this next note is under one of the beds in the upstairs bunker room, and it says, hey, what happened to Foxy? I kind of like that guy. Was he relocated as well? Now, this tells us two things. Number one, Foxy was well-liked around the TSP base and around the headquarters yeah, everyone liked them of course foxy is gone he got taken out you know in the carnival map he, he's in the cage here and it also tells us that well they have numerous bases it, it, it could actually be that tsp controls all six all seven all eight or however many settlements there are because they said relocated meaning that willow wolf relocates people to different settlements i guess based on how they're doing pretty interesting little note there now the next note is actually on one of the sides of the washing machines upstairs and it says dear kitty quit putting your pink clothes with our uniforms my uniform is pink now thanks to you so kitty is a girl i guess confirmed maybe or maybe maybe she's just like maybe he likes pink i don't know pretty sure kitty's a girl though now this next note is why do i have to be on oil extraction duty i don't even know how this place works this is in the kitchen on one of the counters and i mean it's a pretty self-explanatory note it's an oil refinery of course they're going to be getting oil no idea what they're doing with the oil though like why why, why would you be getting oil in, a, in an apocalypse that kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense so i guess we'll have to see what they're doing with it now behind one of the stairs there's a note that says there are people outside i fear them even more than the aggressive ones obviously talking about the piggies i hope they don't find me hiding in here so this note once again says that these tsp people are crazy and they're scarier than the piggies are obviously they've proven that so yeah we can we can believe that now as for the tigri notes this is where things get interesting so first off if you remember back to chapter two in book two we have the store map one of the notes basically says that tigri doesn't really talk much and that people are kind of weirded out by him obviously Obviously, Tigri is, is something something's going on with him. But we got a lot of those questions answered in these notes. So here they are. So the first one here is on one of the wooden tables. It says, my parents were never proud of me. I always hurt uh, or I was always hurt and bossed around by everyone around me. I could be so much more useful to the group if they just gave me a chance. And then it's signed by T, which is obviously Tigri. And then upstairs in the purple key room, we actually have two more hidden notes by, uh, by Tigri. Dude, I, I can't even talk straight. I'm still like uh, upworked about the whole 
Izzy thing. It's just crazy. Anyway, it says they all took one look at me and just threw me away like I was nothing to them. Not rash though. We were alike. We were friends. Now this one's interesting because what happened to Rash? This guy's talking about Rash like something happened to him, like he's gone. Maybe Rash is infected. Maybe Willow took him out. I don't know. Either way, Tiger and Rash were, were friends. And then the last one here by Tiger he says, "All I need is an opportunity to prove my worth, to rise above the rest. Then they'll see how impactful I could be. I'll let no one and nothing stop me from getting there." So these notes actually tell a pretty sad story about Tiger. Uh, Tiger was abused as a kid, and uh, which is pr pretty deep for a role blind game you know and as a result he's very shy he has anxiety in fact there's even medicine on the cabinet where these notes are that's obviously medicine for tigri where he's getting medicine from in the apocalypse i have no idea maybe there's like an apocalyptic cvs somewhere but i mean maybe we'll find that out and i actually think that this is why tigri is the one chasing us and trying to catch us because he's trying to prove himself to everyone else because everyone else thinks he's basically a loser because he doesn't talk much he's shy he has anxiety and he's trying to prove himself now since all all these notes are giving a lot of backstory on Tigri. I have a feeling that Tigri is going to be a big character going forward. Maybe if something were to happen to Willow Wolf, Tigri would take over TSP. He kind of seems like a good guy, kind of. Kind of like a good guy in a bad situation. So maybe we'll get more on Tigri in the future. No, there's also a few other notes hidden around the place. They don't have any connection to the story at all. It's just kind of like, oh, look, we're in an oil refinery and, you know, don't forget to wear gloves. It's pretty basic stuff. Either way, those were all nine notes. Most of them about Tigri here, about what's going on with TSP and I, I guess we're gonna have to find out what happens next. This chapter didn't really leave off on a cliffhanger. It just kind of ended after Zizzy, I, I guess, ended. So leave your thoughts and theories down below. What do you guys think is going to happen next? Maybe I'll make a video on the best theories. I have a few ideas myself, but man, what a, what a crazy chapter. Of course, if there's any more secrets, let me know and I'll make a video on the Minitune did say, I, I forget where, but he did say that there's gonna be a huge Easter egg in one of these upcoming chapters. Could even be this one. Maybe nobody's found it yet, but chapter three, chapter four, chapter five there's gonna be a big easter egg in one of these so we have to keep our eyes out for it anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscribe button click the bell icon turn on your notifications you guys know the drill every youtuber says it go ahead and subscribe and of course keep using star code real Crete when you're buying your robux buying your robux premium it helps me out and it helps me help you by giving you guys robux so thank you guys very much for using star code real Crete. hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye